I just finished wrapping up a show with Stormborn Studios and uh, they've been really cool to work with. Together we solved a problem that's been challenging me for the last couple of years and that is that as an effects CD who's had to move around for a bunch of different jobs, uh, it's, it's troubled me as I move from show to show that a whole bunch of my tools have to be left behind. And um, I think that it's something that the industry could do more to uh, help people because I guess to draw a kind of analogy, if you had a builder contracted to build a building and that's the primary reason for you hiring them, but if this builder actually had to build some tools to get the job done, you probably wouldn't be saying to the builder, you're not allowed to take your tools with you afterwards. But that's actually what happens in visual effects quite a lot, uh, especially for seniors who have some novel methods of solving problems and then they end up leaving their tools behind. The, the tools that I've rebuilt for any number of studios are usually written into the contract as intellectual property. But in actuality, it doesn't really make any sense because you know, the, the workflow um, that you figure out is most efficient is always locked into your head and you don't really have a way to just not use the workflow that's in your head. So a lot of our contracts don't really reflect reality. I'm not suggesting that uh, the intellectual property of say a particular shot, um, you know, the look that goes into a particular shot or any shot specific workflows should be shared in the future. But what I am suggesting at least is that the workflow enhances that TDs might make as they move around from show to show should be something that is more flexibly uh, shared or open sourced. And there are a few TDs around that have already started doing this. Uh, the QLib repository is one such example. Uh, with Stormborn Studios, we started doing this as well uh, because as a remote artist, I have a need to produce my own pipeline. And it wouldn't make any sense for my pipeline to become intellectual property of someone else because that would actually limit me from producing the same work in the future. Usually what's written in the contract is anything I produce is the property of the company that I'm working for. And when it comes to general workflow enhancers or general solutions to problems that you encounter again and again, this doesn't really make any sense. So. It was really cool to work with them and to be able to produce an open source set of core tools that I'm able to bring with me in the future and able to use again on future projects with them and with other people. And what's also interesting in terms of another benefit that Stormborn get by agreeing to that is that those tools, even when I leave the company, continue to improve for them because they're an open source tool set. So I think that's a really cool way of solving a problem that I think affects a lot of TDs out there. And I think that studios should start looking at this idea a little deeper. You know, if you were to work with someone like a head of department and identify things that are general workflow enhancers, that they have the ability to be reused, then you know, it could be done on a case by case basis. And I think that would really also empower us all um, to get more work done and to spend less time building uh, the same tools as we move around.